Welcome back to This Guy's Garage. If you have failed this video, it's because you're trying to bleed your brakes. You've come up to the conclusion that you might be having a problem with your portional valve. This is an important addendum and a technical update to my Brakes Won't Bleed video, which is probably the, not probably, it's the most popular video on the channel. Over the amount of questions, I came up with a better way. So if this is the brake you can't bleed, what I want you to do is remove the caliper, compress it like you'd be putting on a new set of brake pads, go to the adjacent side. So the, f the way your proportional valve works, it, it's a diverter valve from your front to your back. So if you've lost your front brakes, it, it'll give you emergency stopping power for your back brakes and vice versa. To get that proportional valve reset, you need to collapse this caliper plus it's matching caliper on the front or the back. Once you see fluid coming out of your master cylinder, you will know that you have opened up the line of travel so that fluid can come back. If you're getting fluid to your master cylinder, you can get fluid back here. Now, the next important thing when you're bleeding your brakes is to, when you're using the buddy system, one pump and one pump only. If you're using a vacuum bleeder, go about business as normal. But when you're now when you're bleeding your brakes, if you're using the buddy system, one pump, hold the brake down, open up your bleeder, let the air travel, close it until you get full fluid back. But it's one pump and one pump only. I cannot stress this enough. If you go with second pump, it will reactivate your proportional valve because you have air in the lines. It's just assuming it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do and blocking off that proportional valve. So again, I cannot stress enough, when you're bleeding, one pump and one pump only. And again, and the way you're going to know that you recentered your proportional valve is you're going to see air coming out of your master cylinder, or you're going to hear air coming out of your master cylinder. Once you hear that air coming past your master cylinder, you know, it, you know the fluid has made it past the proportional valve. So now your proportional valve is reset. If this video helped you out some, you can help us right back by hitting that subscribe button right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. And until next time, folks, this guy out.